Hello, Ken Spriggs here with a, um, a model review um, of a long-awaited resin interior kit to the Mobius Discovery uh, from a company called Stargazer Models, which I'm sure you've probably heard of. Uh, here is the box of the interior kit. Hopefully you can see that well. All right. Uh, and when I say long awaited, uh, this, when I'm reading the instructions inside of it, and I've, I've um, corresponded with Ian Walsh, who created it. He's the creator, well, the owner of uh, Stargazer Models. Um, and uh, he has been working on this since the actual Mobius model kit came out. And, um, and uh, through some various reasons, um, it was not produced or cast and put out there. Um, I won't go into the details of it. If, uh, if you wanna go ahead and check that out, you can probably find that info for yourself and see about it, but I'm not gonna go into that part of it. But um, uh, I first learned about this back maybe about a few months after the, um, the Mobius had come out and um, really wanted to get one, um, but it just never came to fruition. So Stargazer models have been around for quite a while and they have some fantastic resin versions of the, of the 2001 spacecraft. Um, which they were the top versions of them prior to styrene kits being made. Uh, their version of the Discovery is still the best resin version of the Discovery that's ever been made, in my opinion. Also, the Ares 1B, which I have, which I will build at some point. Uh, the little tiny moon bus, which I did build. If you go back and look at one of my older builds, fantastic uh, little kit. And these are all in 1144 scale as well, so they all match together. Um, and uh, the Moonbus interior, which I also was able to purchase recently from uh, Timeless Hobbies. And, um, and then of course, now this interior to the, to the Discovery. Um, Ian Walsh had posted on Facebook uh, recently that it was available from Starship Modeler, and I'll put a link in the uh, description. And um, it is still available, I believe, from them. Uh, it's about $59, which is a fantastic price. For this uh, a lot of resin kits can be fairly pricey but uh, it's really really well worth the price it's a fantastic kit and I'll show that here briefly so I just want to talk a little bit about the three main options that are available out there for the discovery interior uh, the first one which came out pretty much right around the time of the Mobius was the paragraphic set which they have two sets they have the cockpit interior and they have the pod bay interior which are both in photo etch um, very nicely done, and by no means um, am I critical of that at all. Uh, that's what I put in my original Discovery, which I have hanging up. Come on, right there. <laughs> so, and I'm very proud of how it turned out. But, um, but again, it was photo etch, and so it didn't have any raised detail. So if you go back, and, and I won't go into all the details, but I had to do a lot of scratch building of the detail myself. I had to build the corridor on the side. I had to build the lab area on the left side because they didn't exist. Uh, and I ended up using some, some things from Carl Darby as well that I've talked about in my videos. So um, photo etch is, is a lot more difficult to work with. It's, it's fantastic when it augments like control panels and adds detail to them and you can put lights through the back. So that part is fantastic, but, um, but they were the only thing at the time and they did a great job on it. So definitely kudos to Paragraphics. I love their photo etch and I use it quite a bit on many of my models. Um, but, um, but that having been said, uh, the other two kits uh, from Green Strawberry and now this one from Stargazer are definitely superior kits in the sense that they come fully loaded with the resin detail and um, ability to really super detail your interior to your discovery. So, um, so that having been said, now recently I've been building and I did build the pod bay for the uh, with the green strawberry for my current commission build. So you can go back and look at my videos. Very happy with green strawberry. Fantastic, fantastic set, um, and I really love how it turned out. I think it's fantastic. Um, certainly, if this had been available and I had a choice when it came out, I would have gone that route. Uh, and I think that there are some definite benefits to this one over the, the green strawberry, which I'll talk about here shortly. 
Um, but Green Strawberry set is fantastic. It is a really good set. And I certainly, you know, I, I went over the issues that I had with it and I described it and talked about it, but they were able to be fixed. So I'm very happy with how that turned out. I certainly highly recommend the Green Strawberry set. Um, if you can, if it's in stock, you can get the, the fruit pack of that at HDA Model Works for about $95. Uh, if you have to buy the three sets separately, you're looking at more like 120. <clears throat> so, but um, so a little more pricey um, than this one here, which is about sixty dollars. Um, but then again, there were some added benefits on the um, green strawberry that are not included in this kit too, so to some degree. Um, so, I, I don't want to compare the two and rate them. Um, I, I definitely love the green strawberry. I think it was fantastic. Uh, I'm really pleased with uh, the Stargazer one. Uh, if I had to go back and do it again and I just saw the two kits and hadn't worked with them, uh, probably would go with the Stargazer. Um, but there are some benefits in the green strawberry that, um, that you're not gonna get from this one. So, but, um, but let's go ahead and take a look at the, um, at the new Stargazer one. And, um, and it's pretty fantastic, okay. All right, so I just wanted to show you the overall kit and what it comes with. So here are all the bags of the parts for the inside of it, which I'll open up and we'll go over. Uh, here is the decal sheet, which is fairly nice. It has a lot of decals for the command sphere maintenance corridor, the floor itself, which is important. Uh, I'm not the command sphere, the cockpit, sorry. Uh, different decals that go into the pod bay on the pods themselves. And we'll look at this a little closer as well. Uh, and then you have your instructions. So you have sheet A, sheet B, Pretty, pretty extensive, and they go over the setup of all the different parts and how they fit into the, into the model kit. Uh, and then there are several pages of, of some written ones that go over some different details that you need to know about in building this kit. Uh, as far as, um, as certain things you need to, to make some decisions about. So, okay, so this is the overall uh, kit that it comes with, and it has a it has the box and it has a little picture of the finished kit on the front. So the box is nice, looks pretty cool. This is um, comparable to the other Stargazer kits as well that I've gotten. So, um, so pretty cool. All right, so let me go ahead and um, take the parts out of their plastic bags and then we'll look at each one of these individually. All right, so here are all the parts that I took out of the bags. And some of them I left in the bags because they're just the extra pieces. Some have two, three, you know, or more parts that, um, that go out. So I just took out one that I needed. <coughs> and um, there's quite a few. It's an entirely resin kit. So no photo etch at all. Uh, very interesting design. I certainly am very impressed by quite a few of the parts, which doesn't surprise me. Uh, Stargazer models have historically been just the best when it comes to resin. Fantastic, just well engineered, well done. Super tiny, tiny little pieces that um, that have some really nice detail. Here's here's one of the door hatches if you want to put a door on it. Even has the little window opening in it. So quite quite really nicely detailed. Um, so let me go over some of the main features. So of course, here's the floor. And I like how the design of the floor, a lot of them have, like the other ones that I did, the, um, the green strawberry, um, you had the main floor and then you had the lab was a separate section. You had the other compartments were separate sections. This is all one piece, it's integral, and there's lines etched into the floor that show you where like the lab area goes where the walls go, where the back wall for the tanks goes, is positioned, the corridor over here, all of that. So it's all one piece. So that makes it nice. 
Here's the bottom of it. it, has some structure built into it, so it's fairly solid. Okay, so um, what I'll do is I'll go over, and there are a few things that um, I can see already are going to be a bit of an issue. Not, not undoable, but I wish they had taken a different route. Um, and this is one of them here. So the bottom of this is solid. This whole piece right here is solid, this disc. But you're supposed to drill through these holes right here to put in the, the tubing for the, for the pod bay pod, plat, pod platforms that extend out to make them extendable. Uh, and then the instructions show you're supposed to channel this out. So you have a big disc of resin. You're supposed to drill through this tiny hole, and it's real close to the surface. Take it in straight, and then you're supposed to channel out the area where you want to put in your, your rods. I, I just wish it had been better if they had just hollowed this whole section out, at least in the center. Maybe had a ring around it, and then just had the two holes. You could just drill right through some really thin resin. So... So if you want to have them movable, that's going to be more work, a lot more modification as far as this piece right here. But otherwise, I don't see any issues with it. Uh, if you just want to put the pod platforms in, you could drill, use a pin vise and just drill through those two holes pretty easily and insert in a rod and it would be, it would be easy enough to do that. So other than that one thing, I like the design, I like how it's one overall pattern, and you have all the lines etched into where you want to put everything, so. Okay, they have a little hole right here. I'm assuming that's a light hole, because what that is, is here's the lab area. It goes over here, and then you have this little area for the ladder, and that goes right next to it. So this is right where the ladder would be, so I'm assuming there's a light to come up from the bottom to shine up through that, that lab. Uh, if you watched my <clears throat> previous one I did with the green strawberry, I have a light coming down through the top. So similar area. And as far as I can tell, unless I missed it, there's no ladder included. Uh, you certainly could make up one yourself, and they even sell those ladders in styrene. So that could be done on its own. So Okay, so there's the floor. Then we have the ceiling. <coughs> Excuse me. Ceiling is nicely detailed. And again, I like the integral... Uh, whole setup so you have the lab area is already built in it's got some cool little panels not sure how many of those you're going to see um, you have your your built-in piping built-in sections of course here's where your windows are going to be not your windows your lights are going to be and the great thing about this unlike the green strawberry which obviously i showed how i had to modify is this is nice and thin where those where those uh, light panels are going to go so once you clean out that extra resin, you could just put your, your um, uh, vellum, or, which I used, or you can use uh, frosted plastic, whatever, to put right over the lights so it's nicely set up for you to go ahead and light that. So this is a lot less work. This is gonna be really easy to use, really nicely detailed. Uh, and then it comes with a little Little vents that go, where are those things at? I can never remember. No, right here, they go in here. So you got your little vents that go in there. You have your little circular things. I don't know what those are called. Little domed things with some knobs sticking out. They go in three parts there. So those are there too, separate pieces. Very nice. It's a very nice detail. Ceiling looks great. Uh, it has three little holes positioned for the rods that you would use for the hanging astronaut suits. <clears throat> okay. So very nicely done, just like the floor. <clears throat> then you have your, your wall on the left side, and I'm just going by looking in. Here's your left wall. You have to cut off this piece here. Another thing, too, is very little flash, very little issues. A few parts like this that have like a, the part where they poured the resin in. But no big deal. That can be cut off very easily. Uh, the resin's very soft. It's not soft, but it's nicely done. It's easy to work with. You can cut that or drill it very easily. So, all right. So you have really nice detail over here. A lot of piping. A lot of the padding. The things in the top. That kind of thing. 
All right, and then, um, well, it might be hard to do, but it's sort of giving you an idea. Obviously, with this piece removed, that would just snug right up into that little groove that's made right there for it. <clears throat> so very nice. Uh, you have your lab area. Nicely detailed. Uh, it does have some nicely separated monitors. <clears throat> and again, it's nice and thin. It's not a super thick resin, so you could easily drill those out with a pin vise and then use some needle files to just square them off. You can make them a little bigger if you wanted. And then this could be lit from behind, just like I did my green strawberry. So it could definitely be modified to light with a lot less, lot, with a very little trouble. Wouldn't be a big, a big deal for you at all. Uh, and then you have, I guess this goes right here. So there's your area for the, the ladder. And then that, that comprises your lab area, basically, because all you're doing is putting that right on the floor which is one piece and then the roof has the grooves again and it just it just goes right into where the where the parts are so okay so very simple very straightforward some nice detail uh and i believe there are decals for that let me double check before i say so uh it's hard to tell i don't believe so because none of these are the right configuration so it doesn't appear to be I will look at the instructions here and see but um, I don't think that lab area has any decals but basically you're gonna paint this black and the rest is white so I don't think that's a big deal uh, and it doesn't have any decals for the for the computer monitors or the, I'm sorry the controls down here or anything so okay uh, and then you have your your right wall, which has the opening to the maintenance corridor. And you have this opening right here. Again, a lot of nice piping. And then this area that goes out to the airlock is actually made up of three different parts. Let me cut these backwards. So you got, they go sort of like this. And of course they have to be, they have to be glued at an angle but you have the three parts, you glue them at an angle. They have notches in them so that they're, they're nicely set up to be positioned. So you could glue that in the way it's supposed to be. Hope you can see that. Okay. But these three parts get glued together and then they go, they fit into this opening here. And then, um, and then as far as the corridor is concerned, I don't see any type of structure for it, but it does have some very nice decals. So I would assume that you would put this onto some kind of styrene that you would make octagonal. And then you have the back wall, which is also a decal. So you could either put just some plain white styrene on there and just put this on the inside. If you wanted to light it, it would be a little trickier, um, but basically you're talking about these lines right here between the black sections, this one, this one, this one, and this one would be the things that would light up. So really it wouldn't be that hard. And I did it with my original Stargazer Discovery uh, for the maintenance corridor, is you could, um, you could put styrene behind this and just leave a slit opening right where the lights are gonna be. And since they're all together, that would be fairly easy to do. And just paint black the rest of it that you didn't want to be lit up in the back. You'd cut out a black octagon as well to go there. So, so this could easily be made into a nice corridor that lights up. And a lot of detail in that decal. A lot of detail. Beautiful decal. So I really like that. Of course, the floor decal, which is definitely important that you have to have. Now, as far as I can tell, these are not cut out decals, which means that they're all one piece, but that was the same with the, with the green strawberry. It was also same, the same with the HDA model works one that I did with the photo etch from Paragraphic. So you will have to cut out these little sections and cut around it. But again, it's not that difficult once you go ahead and do it. And then you have all of your panels for the cockpit, which are nice. 
and I think those will be a lot easier to apply to to resin and I'll show that when I build it um, you have these ones here which go in the back walls the hallway that show how and and the different controls so those are pretty cool you have this for the back wall you have the other little ones that go around the pod bay that kind of thing I'm not sure what these little ones are we'll have to see these go in the cockpit as well ones for the pod bay well, not pod bay the pods sorry the detail on the back of the pods so so those are nice very similar to the green strawberry um, a little different because they don't have the side black parts which were nice for the for the green strawberry but still very nice decal set really happy with it this will go really well to um to augment your your um interior uh, now I do not see any decals for the tanks that go on the back wall, but I will show you here in a second that those should be no problem at all. So I showed you the two walls. Now you have the back wall, which is really interesting. It's actually just a series of channels that are open sections. So of course you have your big tanks you have two of those and they just go right into, right into this section right here. Once you paint them, uh, you have that little part right there where that black decal goes right there. So that just goes right there. And then you have the three sections where you have the small tanks and they're very unique. They are molded separately, very detailed in resin. Hope that's in frame for you. But you got your tanks on the top. You have some nicely detailed machinery in the bottom and it's nicely angled like it is in the real in the real set and then these just slide straight down into those sections and then they're flush so you have three of them so quite easy to paint those tanks the red in the center no problem at all because they're going to be separate they won't be integral to this back and even paint some other detail that you want in the machinery there and then just glue them back into this little section so very cool I like that design a lot very well done very well thought out and then of course that just goes right on to there on the back so so that's pretty cool I really like how they came about with that one that one's pretty neat um, as far as how that part is designed uh, you have um, you have this little panel here which just gives it a little detail it's not quite accurate but it goes underneath the front of the pod bay floor, maybe to give it a little bit of height, give it a little bit of detail. Uh, I do like the green strawberry design where they married like the actual design of the set with what you would probably see underneath there. So that was kind of cool, but, um, but this is simple and straightforward to the point. So I like that. Um, they did give you Two different pod, blade, pod platforms. One is slightly bigger than the other. They have the built-in grid, the built-in little details that are on there. These parts are just extra, they just get cut off. Uh, some nice detail on the bottom, on the back. No holes or anything drilled in, but you can do that easily with a pin vise to put in your own rods to, um, to go into the into the pod bay now the reason that there are two different sizes is because if you read the instructions he indicated that he started building this before the kit was released and he was unable to get a test copy a test print of the kit so he designed this and built this just going off of measurements that he was able to obtain and and it worked out i mean in the end he was glad to announced that when the kit came out and he built his own, everything fit, there were no modifications that really needed to be done. Uh, so he did a fantastic job of making it. Um, because a lot of these are scaled up from the actual Stargazer Discovery, which is smaller than the Mobius. And um, he, if you're interested, you go look it up, but um, Ian Walsh, who created this, stated that the Stargazer one is actually more 1144 scale versus the Mobius, but it's, it's one of those debates. I'm not going to get into it. But in any case, so fantastic job in getting it to fit. 
but in the end he realized that the pods were a little bit off based on what he made so he offers two of them and these are in clear so if you were wanting to try to put some lights in them you could mask off everything but the the headlights and or mask off the headlights and paint everything but the headlights or even the cockpit window since it's clear and um and have that glow and put a light up through the through the bottom let's see it looks like there is a looks like there is a hole through this big one little one does not but it is it is hollow through the center but this big one is not because these then have separate they call them ear muffs but the little rocket muff things that go on the sides so these glue on separate and they are not clear and so basically as he says in the instructions you have a choice if you want the smaller one you would use the smaller platform. And this one would come in and out of the ship and it would look more accurate inside the ship. If you wanted to put one outside the ship, you'd go with the bigger one and you'd go with the bigger pod platform. It goes with it. Okay. But again, that would be, that would be a little bit problematic on the bigger one coming in and out of the ship because of the size of it. So in addition, and I won't pull them out, but there are really fine bits of resin for the claws and the different parts of the claws. Um, and again, no fault to this kit because the other ones kind of do the same mostly, but I don't like the resin claws. They're just way too fragile and they break far too easily. So I like the photo etch for that. And that's why I've used those photo etch ones from Green Strawberry. Um, and there are other kits of pods that you can get the photo etch as well. So that's not a big deal. So, okay. So we've gone over the, the floor, the ceiling, the different walls, the different sections that make them up. Um, as I mentioned, there is no corridor itself, but you could easily make that and light it up. Uh, also, there is, no, um, there is no airlock, but what he did include was this piece of paper here that gives you this piece that you could cut out as a template and it has the colorings in the back and you could probably put that on a piece of styrene that you would cut into sections and I'm assuming that when you cut it out because of the weird shape that in the end it would it would fit in that little area right over here it would fit right here to go over to the wall uh, and you can make like a partial partial airlock um, another thing that he also included, which I really love a lot, is a very accurate airlock door. I hope that's in focus. There we go. Okay. Really accurate. It's inset. It's got the ridges around the edge of it. So what you could do is just cut out the airlock area from the, the kit and just make the opening to fit this. And then you would just put glue this from behind and have a really nice airlock and I will definitely be using this airlock door so quite nice uh, the other ones have photo etch and they're flat and they don't quite have the same detail but this is beautiful this will really be nice to make that airlock door look accurate and inset the way it's supposed to be that the kit well the kit has no airlock at all it's just this is a no airlock door at all it's just flat and smooth which they were assuming you were going to use the um you were going to use a photo edge. So, all right. Um, and then you have the workbench, which is just a solid piece of resin. And there are decals for this. Now, likewise, on the um, one from Carl Darby that I used, if you want to look at my video, the, um, the area right here where the, where the display and how would be is, is nice and deep and the sides are pretty deep. And it's flush with the back of the of the workbench. So you really could do the same thing I did on mine and just cut that out and put a color changing SMD behind it and make that color change. So you could do that. So it wouldn't have to necessarily be clear. So, but it's nicely detailed. I like it. It's a very nice workbench. That would be very nice. And 
looks like there's a, a centering hole there, but you would basically center that over the over the decal once you put the decal down. Oh, and I also didn't mention these little platforms are raised as well, so those are already built into the floor. So all you have to do is paint those. Well, you'd paint them, but then you'd put the decal over it. Of course, and the decal would have the different little colorings inside there too, so okay. All right, so that's also pretty cool. I like that, well done. Um, now let me show you, they have the, um, the astronaut suits that are hanging and they come to, in two parts, a back and a front. And you would just glue the two parts together and then you'd have the full suit. It's a bit chunky looking, but it's, it's hard at this scale to get these to look exactly right, but they look pretty cool. Uh, I do not see any type of post or anything included, but that's, again, you could use some, some brass rod or brass tubing or whatever. You could build your own. It's not a big deal. But they're pretty nice, and they're nicely detailed, so I like those. Uh, also included, which is really awesome, two little seated figures. He's a conehead right now, but you can fix that. And, um, and they fit very nicely into the molded seats. Right there, beautiful, it's two of them. So really, if you wanted to have some cockpit figures, you could do that. And the seats are very nice. I like those seats a lot. I like how they're molded into there. So that's very helpful. So really, all the detail in this cockpit is going to be decals, which are extensive, and you can basically plaster the entire interior with that. There are two control panels right here, which you can kind of see. I don't know if I can show them in here or not. Yeah, you can kind of see it right down there. Sorry. Yeah, right about there. So they may be visible from the outside, I'm not sure. Um, but I really love the simplistic. This is simple. No photo edge, two halves. You paint it, paint it white. Well, paint it black probably to, to mask it off. You do have to cut out the, um, the light panel openings. I'm sorry, I'm trying to look at the camera in this at the same time. But yeah, you do have to cut out these light panels right down in here, which would be pretty easy. Again, nicely done resin, very thin resin. Uh, you got your padded things here, which are nice. But once you clean this up, which is super simple, you paint it, you get your decals all inside, maybe your figures if you want, paint your seats, and, and you're ready to go. Put two halves together, and that's super simple. And then they also included a replacement part for the the kit part. So you take the kit part out and use this one. I'm not sure why, what differences are, maybe back here and this the way this is designed, I think. But this is designed so that this whole front piece just goes right up snug against it. Super simple. It just matches up right with it. it has the, the little beams in the middle. If you wanted to, you could add a little bit of styrene parts to just beef those up a bit, but super simple. And then the whole thing just goes right into the kit just like it would. So really love this cockpit, really well done. My, one of my biggest complaints about the green strawberry is the fact that it was all photo etched for that and didn't do a resin. So I really wish they would have done a resin on that one. So, okay. So one other thing and the last uh, two things I wanna show you, last couple of things, are the way he designed the um, the parts for the the doors of the pod bay. Because one of my biggest complaints about the kit is that the, let me show you here real quick. Where did that go? Come on, there it is. Sorry, I should have been prepared. Is that the door and the ridged ring are all one piece which if you wanted to have a door open and you just left the door out of it, it doesn't have the ring. And I don't understand why they did that. 
Uh, my first one, I had to literally take a, a saw and cut away from that. It was a pain in the butt. But, um, but he fixed this problem fantastically. So he made the ring separate, and it's got its ridges in it. So you got the rings, and they fit into the kit quite nicely. Sorry. So if you want to leave it open, leave it open. If you want to put a door behind it, put a door behind it. And then he has the three of those. Then you have the door, and the door is separate. Also wonderful. And you could cut this in half very easily, and then you could position it open or put it enclosed. So kudos to Ian on that. That was a fantastic design. Absolutely love that. Absolutely love it. In addition, he made these parts, which are a very accurate interior to these parts here. Now you have to cut that ridge out, but these just go right inside and they actually give you a realistic looking interior so that if you look inside this door, you can see over there, you'd be able to see that the, the interior to the pod bay really is there and it's not just a piece of plastic. And of course, then everything else marries up with that so that when you look in, you're gonna see, you know, just a pod bay. You're not gonna be able to tell it's a kit. So again, I really, really like this a lot. This is awesome. And then obviously, you know, the rings in the door and all of that work in conjunction with these parts as well. So this doesn't fit inside that hole because it wouldn't, it would actually just come right out through the, through the opening in the kit. And then you would have the door and that would go in there as well, so. All right, so very, very cool. I really like these parts, I really like these additions. You know, finally somebody came up with an idea of how to have this ring separately. And this is a super fine little part done in resin. Let's see if I can get close up on that. There you go. So you can make out the little ridges. So really, really nice. Fantastic idea. And of course, there's three of those. <coughs> in order to fix the glaring issue with the, with the door. So, all right, so overall, um, fantastic kit, fantastic interior. Really well made, really well designed. You know, really, really nice decals. Give you another shot of those. That are really gonna help. Um, and then as far as, let me just kind of show you a comparison. You know what, um, hold on, I didn't even show you yet. Let me go back a second. Okay, one thing I did not show you is the, um, the back hallway. So the back hallway for the cockpit is also resin. So you've got your, you've got your floor, you got your ceiling, you've got your two walls, and then you have the door on the back. Oh, that's all in frame. Okay. So uh, again, just resin. They glue together. Uh, there are some really nice decals right there at the top. So you got your two walls that go in there for the two side parts and for how. So that helps, it gives a little bit of detail in that back hallway. Um, and some raised detail with the padding and things like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, now, my only complaint about this, and, and it was the same with the Stargazer one, which I had to modify, uh, but it's no big deal, is the fact that these are, these are supposed to be the light panels. These are the openings. So, I mean, it's white resin. It's just a little translucent, but it's pretty thick right there. So what I will end up doing, like I did in my original one, is to take a Dremel and channel that out. And probably the easiest way, instead of trying to channel between these two ribs, is just to cut the entire section out entirely, put in some styrene or vellum, and just replace the ribs because that's where I'm gonna have lights coming through from the ceiling, it's gonna come down. So that's the only downside of this. Not sure why he didn't take that open, but again, no big deal. You know, just looking at this kit and seeing the modifications, I don't see anywhere near the type of modifications that I'm gonna to have to do that I did with the green strawberry. Um, let me rephrase that. Uh, green strawberry had a medium amount of modifications because 
of the lighting of like the the corridor and the the pod bay the ceiling it took some of that so um this has very light modifications as far as some of the things that i will have to do to make it work um paragraphics being just photo etch and again i'm not putting it down paragraphics is, is amazing but theirs was simply a flat photo etch surface so i had to do quite a lot of modification quite a lot of scratch building quite a lot of additions to make the things I wanted. Plus it did not include a corridor, it didn't include the airlock, it didn't include the, the lab area, any of those things. So quite a lot had to be done on that. So, so I would say as far as this, modification and cleanup is gonna be minimal. Um, some of the areas that were the hardest to do on the um, green strawberry are gonna be a lot easier on this kit. Um, and then let me kind of show you, and I, I'm not sure, big difference between the size of the cockpit in the green strawberry and the paragraphics and this kit here. So this is the one from green strawberry, very tiny. Now, when you're looking through it, I don't know if you can see through there, you're going to see that hallway and it's going to give you the image that you want to see somewhat. And there's more pieces that go around the sides too. But compare this hallway to this hallway, which is literally twice the size and at least twice the thickness, the width. So quite a bit more detail. I think this is gonna show up a whole lot better than this tiny little, cock, tiny little thing. Um, so again, green strawberry, not bad, but I really wish they had gone the route of resin like they did with this one it would have been a whole lot easier and it would be a lot you know a lot more visible inside once it's all built um, so fantastic kit definitely a fantastic kit really well engineered really well designed really well cast it's it's just beautiful so many fantastic things involved very few issues that i have with it um, so i highly recommend it Highly, highly, highly recommend it. I will link in the description where you can purchase one um, if you want to go ahead and do it. Uh, and then, um, so absolutely, really, really good kit. All right, so that's going to wrap up this video of this review. Um, I'm obviously not going to build the pod bay at this point. I do want to do that at some point in the future. And I'm um, trying to think of some unique ideas because uh, I don't really want to build another discovery for myself. And, um, but I might try to do something. I'm just kind of throwing around some ideas. We'll see. Maybe doing just a command sphere and maybe scratch building some extra parts that are missing, if you know what I mean. So we'll see. But um, I am definitely going to uh, look into building the cockpit and using this cockpit for my current commission build because quite honestly, it's far superior to the, to the green strawberry and it's far easier to build and it's larger and it looks nicer. I'm also gonna use some of the other parts such as the inner walls to the pod bay doors uh, and the doors themselves and the rings and that kind of thing. So, uh, so definitely gonna look into that and, um, and I'll show you that in a future build um, with my discovery commission. So, all right, thank you to all my new uh, my new subscribers uh if you're interested in getting a um a really awesome interior kit this one is fantastic i would hurry because they're probably going to be limited uh, and like i said i'll include a link in the description if you want to go and check that out really reasonably priced and a fantastic interior kit uh, i also do recommend the green strawberries so definitely check that out as well and if you just something want something straightforward and throw some decals on uh, paragraphics is fantastic also if you're not looking to do a lot of scratch building or that sort of thing. So, okay. All right. Well, thanks again. And I will see you all in the next video.